today's video i'll be telling you a really easy way through which you can learn the branches of maxillary artery you know it very well that the maxillary artery has been divided into three divisions the first part second part and the third part and further branches come from all these three parts so i'll be telling you small mnemonics through which i think you'll be able to remember all the nerves so we'll be taking one sentence into consideration that is demai broke my pretty doll i'm really sorry for my writing that's the reason i'm just repeating the sentence the sentence is something like demai broke my pretty doll so i put glue please don't approach so now two things are there first thing you have to remember this whole sentence to remember the branches of the maxillary artery the second thing i need to tell you here is you must be thinking why i have divided this so demai here represents all the five branches of the first part of the maxillary artery broke my pretty doll we'll be taking the first alphabets of the sentence in consideration that is b m p and d all these represents the further four branches of the second part of the maxillary artery in the next sentence we have six branches so we'll be taking the only don't is the word here which we are not going to use so this is just to complete the sentence you don't have to use this in any branch so s i p g p and a i'll be writing it to clear it out further so taking the first part in consideration we have five branches we have written as demai d a m a i demai in the second part we have four branches b m p and d so we'll be writing it here as b m p and d in the third branch or in the third part of the maxillary artery the branches which come out are six branches 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these branches are something like s i p g p a i'll be writing this out here this would be s i p g p and a so now i've just written the art, uh, branches here of the maxillary artery to make you understand and save you time so d here stands for the deep auricular a stands for anterior tympanic m stands for middle meningeal a stands for accessory meningeal i stands for inferior alveolar so they were the five branches of the first part of the maxillary artery coming to the second part of maxillary artery we have four branches coming out b stands for buccal m for mesenteric p for pterygoid d for deep temporal in the third part i would just make it like this in the third part we have s for sphenopalatine i for infraorbital p for pharyngeal g for greater palatine p for posterior superior alveolar and a for artery of pterygoid canal look guys it's really easy if you remember the names which they are starting from the alphabets which from which the branches are starting from you can very easily recall the name of the branch so it's i think this mnemonics would just help you to remember these alphabets because if you know this you can easily memorize this i hope this video is really helpful for you if yes do not forget to like uh, hit the like button thank you